Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. I got the Creality Filament Dry Box 2.0 and I'm gonna do a little review on it for you today. Um, it does allow for one tray and I'm gonna be using Pet G. You can see I've used this for a while and this has sat out in my room for multiple months where I print and uh, it probably needs to be a little bit dried out before it goes into my printer. So we'll uh, go ahead and test it today. We'll go ahead and open the box. There's a good thick piece of foam up top and it's in a bag. Do not eat dispose of properly. So go ahead and take some time to read over the instruction manual to make sure you know exactly how to use it and how you want it to go. And it is pretty simple. It's just literally a page. So just a couple directions right there. So does it come with a cable here? And so we are gonna go ahead and plug that into an outlet I'm sure if you bought it for other countries, they would have different plugs. So we'll go ahead and turn the device around and plug it in. So once you've plugged it in, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this plastic wrap. This probably just so it does not get scratched in shipping. next step is we're going to go ahead and load it and it, one of the things I do like about this is you can actually run the print with this on here so that's why I did go with this one so you're going to go ahead and feed that in and through obviously if you don't want this you can go ahead and cap it off but I'm going to use it you have an on off switch on the back you'll want to go ahead and flip that on you'll hear a little bit of a motor and uh, it will show you what you're sitting at wise for humidity and the dial adjust how long you want it to go so you do have a couple of selections as you press the button one of them is like how long you want it to go so one of the features that is nice, it does show you for a lot of different types of plastic, what temperature setting it should be at. And then it'll also take care of the humidity as well. And so like I have a pet G should be 65, but if I'm using PLA, it should be 50. And you can see with the rest of them. And it also shows you how many hours. So like PLA is double the time as pet G. One of them is what the temperature you want it to be set at and it'll let you put it all the way up to 65 degrees celsius and down to 45 degrees celsius and so i'm going to put that at because it's pet g it says 65 degrees and it says it needs to be in for about two hours and so you will see that thing beginning to do its job <clears throat> in about two hours it should bring the temperature to where it should be and remove all of the excess humidity again you can print with this thing on if you want to it does add a little bit more noise to where you're located but the filament will come out and it will spin pretty well on there don't know how well you're able to see that right there but the filament is able to be pulled out you do want to make sure you got it in the right location as you do that Again, if you ever have any issues, you can come back in and pull it back in and through. And it definitely smells a little bit. Um, I'm guessing that's the heater going on inside of that. Because right now we're up to 34 degrees Celsius. This would be helpful if you are printing in a place that's cold as well. Um, sometimes I print out of my garage because my print room has other things going on in it. And so that is helpful as well. Um, you can keep your 
temperature regulated and the humidity regulated. You can see inside it does have some kind of uh, reflective material built in. The design feels pretty solid. I mean, it's plastic, um, but it doesn't feel ultra cheap. It does have some nice little rubber stoppers on the bottom as well. And so we're going to let that thing go ahead and go down to the temperature it should be at. But in the two hours, it should get it to where it needs to be. And you're able to go ahead and print. So really in less than 30 minutes, it really got it down to a good temperature, which is what we ask it for, and a 15% humidity. That is more than good for Pet G. And so this thing does work really well, but uh, I guess it will honestly keep it at that for at least the next hour and 35 minutes. So if you did have a print or a longer print, you could obviously increase the time. I really like how this thing works and how it looks and it does function really well. There is a low hum. That's probably the only thing I wish it didn't have, but I don't think it could do it without it. So that's not a real big deal to me, but I do want to mention that just in case that's something that matters to you. If you do have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section down below. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. That really does help this channel grow and allows us to make more videos just like this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, thank you so much for watching.